When it comes to columns width, we have, you can call the traditional and then the latest or the newest way of arranging and setting the width within a column. Let's first have a look at the traditional one because it's one you're going to use quite a lot and very handy. I have four columns here next to each other. That's what a column is. And I want to change the width or the aspect ratio between a few of them. If I grab the handlebar between any of the columns, you will see that I can adjust the width. As I adjust the width on the left, so I do on the right. And this is indicated by the heads up display here, showing you that the one on the left is comprising 21.1% of the entire width of the viewport and the other one 30.3%. Now that I've made these changes, I realize I want to put it back on 25% for both of them. So I simply slide until I get to 25%. And more than often, you're going to get lucky and get it on 25%. As I've made these changes, you can see there's a little offset there, and I want all four of these equally at 25%. To take that pixel perfect control over the width of a column, go to the column toolbar by selecting this little icon in the top right hand corner. And then from the settings, you will see we have the width here in percentage. Simply type in 25% and then do that for all the other columns or put them to the width you want them and always do this from left to right and this way you'll ensure that you get the columns to the exact width that you want the last column will always automatically take the remainder of the pie so if the first few are set to 60 percent the last one will be 40 percent always to give you 100 percent this of course is responsive if I go to a tablet device and I want to change the column width here, and you can see this looks a little bit off, I can now go and put it on 50%. And I'll put the second one also on 50%. Let's do the rest. Put that also on 50%. And then the last one. Two options then. You can drag it. Or you can go ahead, select the options toolbar, and type in the value that is required. For more tutorials on updates within Brizzy, please subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Give us a like if you think this video was useful, or if you'd like to see more videos like this. Until next time.